How's it going, Ryan? Usual stories, usual stories. Short stacks, all the way again. Man, you had a battle yesterday evening with Mr. Goodwin in the Chinese poker sticks. Yeah, you did. Did, did you come out on top? No, I didn't, but I just like to say that he officially cheated on the scoring. <laughs> it's elaborate? been proven, yeah. Someone told me last night that they watched the scoring and he's, he's good at uh, battling people with science. <laughs> I shall have to ask him for a reply. Uh, ask him, ask him. You won't admit it, but you did. Mark, how are you doing? I've heard Go some on. allegations about you today. Go on, then. I've heard you, 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 you dodgy scoring in the Chinese poker yesterday. Look, they don't understand that a good player can never beat a good scorer. That's their problem. Same in golf. <laughs> Plus, the person I was playing, Zair, grows over his eyes, doesn't he? <laughs> you know what I mean? He needs to get air cut. Pretty boy, Ryan. <laughs> Apparently, you know, a good scorer will always be a good player every time. Listen, right, I rang him the other day and I said, I said, Mark, you're right. He said, no, I can't talk, I'm in the hairdressers. I'll ring you back. An hour later, I rang him back. No, I can't talk, I'm in the hairdressers. Four o'clock, you bring me back. Look what they've done to him. Look at the highlights. They've given you a bad one. That was six hours. That was six hours with the hairdressers. <laughs> he's got highlights. Think he's vain. He's sitting there with Tim Fallen on his hair with one of those big. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do it.